the people that work here, the astronomers, it's 105 nights a year. They're away from their families or in the middle of the desert. They're really dedicated, and it really impresses me. Also, I think, I find it's a really positive attitude at ESO because it, these, you know, ESO's in the process of building the greatest telescopes in the world, so it's exciting, and you feel like you're part of something that's really, really makes a difference, you know? And so I think that's really, it creates a nice atmosphere for people. Of, um, the EOP is when we'll be able to see very distant galaxies in more detail than we've ever seen before. So, you know, now even with Hubble Space Telescope, you look at some of these very far away galaxies and, you know, it's a smudge. But with ELT, you can actually start to resolve structure. Maybe you can see where galaxies very different long ago. Because, you know, in astronomy, right, we look back, the farther away we look, the further back in time we look. So we'll be able to see. The, er, the youngest galaxies in more detail than we could ever see before. That will tell us how they were assembled, for example, how they were born. We assume it's all constant. The speed of light is the same. The attractive force between protons and electrons is the same. The force of gravity is the same. But why do we assume that, right? And there are certain laws of, or certain um, theories in physics that predict that they could change over time. So with EELT, one can, again, you need to be able to see very distant objects, because those are looking far back in time, and you need to see them, so, so they're faint, they're hard to see, you need a big telescope and you need to be able to see enough detailed information, in a sense, to actually test these things. It's really hard to do, and people try and do it now with smaller telescopes, but with the EELT, it will really be possible to say for certain, yes, these constants or these physical parameters are constant with time or they change with time. That'll be really exciting. I started uh, when I was uh, at the age of uh, 34. I started after having several jobs in Switzerland. I started uh, at uh, La Silla, that is the first original observatory of ESO. And in 2004, I moved here to Paranal. And uh, now I moved on in, the, in my career uh, to uh, deputy director of the observatory. And that is uh, somehow the end of my career as an engineer. And I never regretted to leave Switzerland. I never regret to have taken this step. It was really one of the best things I could imagine uh, that I could have done. Yeah. We are not running after money. We are not, uh, it's uh, an organization that is not uh, earning anything. Yeah, we, are doing, we are doing the purest of science. The oldest science as astronomy is basically, and to contribute to this is really something that makes me very, very happy.